virtual reality is changing the way that we learn, but what about using it for first aid training? A new service is making it possible, and Sunrise consumer correspondent Sean White has been given a first-hand look. Yeah, Koshi Mon, good morning. Uh, this program takes you into real-life situations for an innovative and immersive experience, uh, and it reduces the time it takes for CPR and first aid courses by more than half. It's a classroom in a headset. I think he's having a heart attack. I need your help. I'm a first aider. Look around and check for anything that could be a danger. You have 10 seconds. Mock medical emergencies like these are helping to train Aussies in the first aid so they're prepared for real life scenarios. The beauty of like 360 and, and these kind of ideas is that you want to have people feel the training and actually learn through experience. So by creating something whereby you actually create a 360 environment and have the person in that situation, then it makes the training and the knowledge that you're trying to impart a lot more effective. The St. John's experience was first introduced in Victoria back in 2019. It's now being rolled out in workplaces across the country, setting the standard for first aid training that's fast and effective. Coming out of uh, the pandemic, uh, the need for um, qualified first aiders has never been more important. So how does the program work? Well, there are a series of first aid modules trainees work through. The virtual reality course is one of them. If you're coming into the St. John program, it's very straightforward in that you'll, you'll do a bunch of like normal sort of modules and then you get the VR headset and then you'll go through different situations there. And the thing with VR, it's so immersive that like three minutes in VR will feel like 10 minutes. The VR course can fast track training times by up to 75%, enabling students to receive life-saving certification within one hour. Research also shows students trained through virtual reality answer questions correctly more than 80% of the time. For those who've never used VR, it can feel a little strange at first. So the St. John's program is designed to be straightforward and user-friendly. 20,000 cardiac arrests every year, and only 1% of those, those cardiac arrests occur in medical facilities. So this is not just a compliance requirement for the workplace, this is a requirement for life. Yeah, for more information on the virtual reality program that can be accessed online through St. John's, uh, it's open to anyone, guys, in Australia. Yeah. That's so Great good, idea. isn't it? Anything that we can do to just yeah. make that more accessible. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Sean. Particularly when you're surrounded by all the colleagues. That's good. That's true. It could be depending on you.